Welcome back to Flexor Fade for week three, where we talk about a DraftKings main slate player and talk about why you should and shouldn't play him. So this time I am pro. I am flexing Jordan Travis, the FSU quarterback, who I think many believe is is definitely in contention for the Heisman. I haven't seen the recent Heisman odds, but I'm sure he's up there. Um, they play at Boston College this week with a pretty large spread. Uh, but I do believe this game will go closer. You know, I've previously talked about this on campus to caching. I think this is a spot where the game is fairly tight or tighter than the the numbers. So we might see even more usage, even more production out of him. You know, if you look at his games this year against Southern Miss, he just literally was not needed. He showed some rushing usage. He had a couple passing touchdowns, but that LSU game was incredible. I don't think it's going to be that type of contest where you, they pulled away at the very end, but I, I certainly could see 30 passes and I certainly see seven, eight rushing attempts and they're just going to score so much. And I'm going to actually maybe throw you a curveball here, Ethan. Part of the reason why I like Jordan Travis is Keon Coleman is so good. Jordan Travis could throw him a duck and he could go 80 yards for a touchdown. So like this is a, I think a situation where his talent around him in the passing game with like Bell and Johnny Wilson and how like Benson and Toa Feely can be used in the passing game will help them a ton. I'm also a little cautious on like how how good. I mean, Benson's a great running back, but like I think coming to the year, we thought this would be a legitimate running back by committee. Like Toa Feely would really eat at some some potential points for Travis. I just haven't been all that impressed with Toa Feely. It seems like Rodney Hill might even be the second best running back in that room. And so I think we're going to continue to see Travis develop as a passer he's shocked me how good he's become as a passer from like two years ago to now and i think with the talent around him man he, they can make the plays for him i think we could see 300 passing yards three passing touchdowns another 30 rushing yards on the ground and the upside is endless if he can just vulture a touchdown on the ground which wouldn't be the craziest of things so i am flexing jordan travis yeah i uh i disagree I know it's a shock being uh, here in the play, the fade box, but uh, so I, I do agree with you in some aspects. I do think that this is going to be a tighter game than people are anticipating. Um, I do think that Florida state wins this game and, and gets out of there pretty well. Um, but with any game that has such a high spread, um, there's the danger that Florida state just doesn't have to throw the ball that much and they don't have to rely on Travis uh, last week against Southern Miss really showed the danger in that uh, with Travis's game. He went 15 of 29 for 175 uh, and then had 20 rushing yards and only two touchdowns through the air. So very pedestrian game uh, to be paying up for a quarterback, especially this week when there's so much value at the quarterback spot on DraftKings. Um, Travis is the most expensive starting quarterback, assuming Cam Rising is out this week um, at 9,700. That's the kind of pricing where you really need guaranteed rushing upside um, and guaranteed rushing touchdowns along with a successful game uh, through the air. Um, so definitely not outside of Travis's uh, potential outcomes. Um, but there's also the fact that Florida State is in a very dangerous look ahead spot. Uh, next week, they've got Clemson. Um, so knowing that that big you know, conference championship implication game is on the horizon. Um, I expect Florida State to try and keep this very vanilla, get out of there with a win. I expect them to keep it on the ground quite a bit um, and lean on their running backs. We mentioned that the um, the depth is there. They, they have three names that are uh, all talented guys who have the ability to put up points, especially on Boston College. Um, and then in Chestnut Hill, the forecast this week is 24 mile an hour winds and a 40% chance of rain with scattered showers throughout the day. So it very much screams to me as a game that can get sloppy. Um, one that Florida State is really just going to want to get out of there with a, a victory. And, and it doesn't seem like one just at first glance that is going to be getting style points or be in the Heisman uh, film reel for Jordan Travis. So that's where I'm at on it, uh, fading Jordan Travis. Uh, but we are very curious what everybody else thinks. Uh, so if you're watching, feel free to drop a comment. Let us know. 
Um, jump in the Discord and feel free to ask any questions or tell Chris why he is wrong with uh, flexing Jordan Travis this week. And uh, yeah, everybody just enjoy uh, this slate of games this weekend and, and have some fun out there.